Right here is our first prop that came with Avocet. It's a two blade max prop. And on the left is our beautiful new prop that I will get into a little later. First off, let's talk about the two really differences between a feathering prop and a fixed prop. Uh, feathering prop gives you two advantages. When you are sailing and you turn the engine off, you can have your propeller go from its uh, working condition to its feathering condition and it gives you about an, an extra knot when you're sailing. So it's a really awesome benefit. It also means that your shaft isn't spinning continuously. So that's number one. Number two, a fixed blade prop isn't very efficient when you put it in reverse. This is one of my favorite things about this prop was that when you had it in Ford, it was efficient. And then when you put it in reverse, it was also just as efficient with it being as in Ford. Uh, with a fixed blade prop, you put it in reverse, you'll get a lot of prop walk. And that's something that we've never really experienced with Avocet. The biggest problem with our Max Prop was that the fact it was a two blade and it was just severely underpowered. In the boatyard, we had a really big decision. Uh, I knew I didn't want to stick with our two blade Max Prop. I was planning on just buying a fixed blade because I wanted the added benefits of a three blade propeller. Now I've been talking with one company in specific named Britons. They're located in the UK and they make a wide variety of things one being propellers and two being shaft couplers. I had always had my eye on what was called an auto prop. Now the thing that's so special about an auto prop is that it is a auto pitching feathering prop. You might be asking what that is. All propellers, every single one ever made, there's a set pitch or there's at least a pitch that you can uh, manipulate. Like our max prop right here, you can change the pitch of this propeller. You can't do it you know, seamlessly, but you can go in there and you can actually change the pitch of the propeller, meaning that you can change the degree of which these blades uh, are cutting through the water. So if you want more pitch, it's gonna bite more, but only at lower RPMs of the engine. And if you go less pitch, it'll bite less at lower RPMs, but it also will work better at higher RPMs. Basically, the gist of it is that there is no perfect propeller at least until the auto prop was made. Now, that's quite the statement, but I truly think this is one of the best propellers ever made. One simple fact of why that is, is that this is an auto pitching prop. The beauty behind that is that in any RPM the engine is in, it is giving the optimal amount of pitch. I couldn't be more excited to have this on Avocet. I can't wait to see how it performs in the water. Yeah.